Today, I'm going to turn my boring photo into this. For the past three years, I had this sacred tradition of editing myself and making it as my profile picture. Let's do that again. So here's the picture I'm going to use today. I already upscaled it using AI. That's why my hair looking oh bit funky. God. I'm going to fix it later. So my plan was to create something cinematic, like a movie poster. But then I stumbled upon this artwork on Pinterest and thought, why not steal this? No steal, no steal. I mean, why not get inspired from this and make something similar? So I got some images from the web. Now it's time to bring my idea to life using Photoshop. First of all, I'm grabbing the paint tool and cutting myself out the background like a pro. Once they're done, let's refine the edges very quickly. Perfect. So now I'm taking the cutout to a new canvas and adjusting the position. Next up, I'm cutting off this jacket because honestly I want to replace this fit. Oh, my screen recorder decided to take a break, but no worries, here's what I did while it was off. So I totally changed my outfit into a sports jacket. Of course I added a green touch, because it's my thing. I love green. After that I made my eyes white, because I love smoky eyes. Next up, it's my favorite part, repainting my hair. I want to add that volume and texture. So I took my time to paint every single hair strand. Looking good for now, I might fine tune it later. After that, I decided to add this horn. Before that, let me get rid of this watermark first. I'm painting extra hair strands over the horn to make it look like it's really on my head. After that, I made it dark and added the basic shadows and highlights. Then I made the horn green. I'm not sure, I might change it later, but for now it's okay. Quick ad break, you saw me using these fancy brushes right? If you want to download my brush pack, go to my website and get them for just $2. It's already customized for both stylus and mouse users. This pack contains custom texture and smudge brushes which helps you to paint gorgeous highlights and helps you to get that oil paint texture to your artwork. So go check it out, this will definitely be worth you $2. So back to the video. After that I made the background red and painted some more hair strands to make myself pop from the background. I think I'm overdoing my hair. Who cares? Now I'm painting my ears to look like a hobbit. I love pointy ears. Oh. 
I didn't like the green horn so I'm changing it to grey. Then I painted the highlights on the horn and made it look like it's part of my head. Guess what, once again I'm painting more here because I want that rough texture. Next I did some final retouching, gotta keep it nice and flawless. Then I merged all layers together and repositioned everything. To make my image blend seamlessly with the background, I added some red blooms over it. This will help to make my final edit look more cinematic. also made an animated version. I'm very happy with the final result. Let me know your thoughts below. And you can find this artwork on my Instagram. Make sure to follow me there too. And yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.